obviously we're disappointed because we left for most of the game, and I thought that uh, came right back off of our game that we played on Saturday where I thought that was the best we played. And uh, I thought the first, you know, 25 minutes or so of the game, our shots didn't necessarily fall, but I thought it was the best we had played. We had nine guys that we played in the first half, all nine of them that scored. I thought we had executed our defensive game plan really, really well, obviously to build the 13-point lead with 11 to go. I thought we had done some really, really good things. Um, you know, late, I thought we got a little bit stagnant offensively. Uh, you know, but at the end of the day, I look at the stat sheet, and it's exactly what I expected or hoped for, except for one thing, and that's the young man who has shot 11 total threes on the season coming into the game going six for seven. You know, so give him credit, you know, and uh, give them credit. You know, I know that uh, certainly they have a pattern of recruiting perimeter players that can shoot, and uh, you knew that he, he could, just hadn't yet, uh, and he got on quite a roll. <coughs> And I thought he was really the difference uh, in the game when you look at the uh, when you look when you look at the stat sheet. You know, other guys kind of did what I thought they they might do. Um, you know, we did we did about what I thought we would do. We had about two or three sloppy turnovers. I thought because uh, we like to play with about ten. When they only have five, you know, you can say, well, twelve is not very many, coach. I mean, you're nitpicking, but you know, two or three like that in a Big Ten basketball game where every possession matters. Uh, can certainly be a big uh, difference, uh, but I thought our guys were aggressive. I thought they practiced well. They played well Saturday. They played well today for the majority of the game, and you know they probably feel like if they were honest that they, you know, one got snatched away from them. But that happens in Big Ten play. You know, you got 17 more of them like this coming up, and I told them you got to jump up and get prepared the next two or three days here and be ready to go uh, on on Saturday. So again, give them credit. Uh, for making plays and hanging in there, and then uh, I thought that uh, I thought they passed the ball really well late. Yeah, I, I, I thought Levert had some nice finds uh, uh, to Doyle there, and obviously with Dawkins making shots like he was, he was the guy on that side a lot, which was smart on their part, and that puts you in a blender a little bit of how much you're going to help off of him. So again, I thought at the end of the day, the difference in the game was Dawkins. Questions. Was he, was he out of coming in? Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah, he was. And, uh, you know, we had talked to him, uh, you know, a lot of their freshmen because we've seen those guys, certainly in our business, you see those guys prior to them arriving in college. And uh, we knew he could make shots. We talked about that. We just said he hadn't done it quite yet, maybe at the level. But that happens with a lot of freshmen, I think, even freshmen I've coached over the years. So we certainly knew he was capable. You know, he was on the scouting report. He had shot 11 threes and seven twos, so he had shot more threes and twos. We were aware of that. Uh, now, did we anticipate him going six for seven? I don't think anybody in America would have probably anticipated that, but give the kid credit. He stepped up and he made them, and he made it at crucial times. He made big ones. So I give the kid a lot of credit. The losses this season down the stretch, you guys have struggled a little bit. Um, have you seen some similarities since the earlier games? You know, I'll have to watch this one on film, but I really thought it was, I mean, they made shots. <coughs> uh, our defense, I thought, was really good for about 25 minutes. And then, uh, you know, then they started making some shots. And I'm sure there's some plays that we, we feel like we could be better defensively, uh, Marcus. I also think at the offensive end, you know, we got a little stagnant a little bit. And we, first half, I thought the ball moved with more uh, fluidity. I thought it moved and flowed better. We had nine different guys score. You know, I, I thought that our guys were really unselfish. I thought Ray was really unselfish. You know, I thought other than making shots, I thought Ray had a heck of a game. You know, he, I don't know how many, he had what, 11 boards, six assists. He was terrific defensively. He was really, really good. And that's what makes Ray special. Ray is a high-level guy on defense, high-level guy rebounding. High level guy on offense just tonight, three for 11. He had a couple wide open threes and he just didn't knock them down. Sometimes that's the difference between winning and losing. Is that play, is that the regulation? Is that for him? Or it was for him to read it, uh, just like the game uh, against Missouri. Uh, you know, I, I thought when he came off, they committed two guys to him. If, you know, if we had to do it over again, which you don't have that opportunity over again, I think you'd tell you probably should have thrown it back to Malcolm on that play. Malcolm was wide open at the top of the key. And he maybe didn't read it like he should have, but I'm going to trust Ray's uh, judgment. You know, I'm, I'm going down with Ray.